Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Aslan Bek Makhmadov and Simon Keane will both return on December 7th to round out their 2019, fighting on the same card against different opponents. For Makhmadov, he will be facing former champion Samuel Peter, and for Simon Keane, he will be facing Sergei Lyakovic. And these are not necessarily great fights, but because they're undercard fights on a bill that's topped by David Lemieux, I can sort of cut them a little bit of slack. So I'll go through both fights and a few thoughts on where they're at in their career. Uh, but starting with Aslan Bek Makhmadov, this will be his fifth fight for 2019. He's had wins against Jason Bergman back in January, Avery Gibson uh, back in March. He fought Jonathan Rice in May and Julian Fernandez just in September. And the three of those guys, Rice, Gibson and Bergman, they were all meant to give Makhmadov some rounds and experience. Only Rice was able to go any sort of uh, rounds with Makhmadov, um, taking him seven, the most of his career. Gibson and Bergman were both stopped in the first round. So hopefully Samuel Peter will be able to go some rounds here because this is what Arslan Bek Makhmadov needs right now. Heading into this fight, which will be his 10th fight, he's only had 18 rounds under his belt in the nine pro fights and the nine knockouts that he's got so far. Only Rice has taken him past the third round. His most recent opponent, Julian Fernandez, is the second longest with three rounds. So yeah, Makhmadov, he does need a bit more in-ring experience. He needs some rounds, and this is something that Samuel Peter can do. I think he can go some rounds. I don't necessarily think he'll have a huge amount of success. I don't think he'll look that great in there, but he is durable, and he will show a little bit of ambition. I mean, we did see in his last fight against Huey Fury that he was looking for the right hand he was looking for his own work uh, but without much success um, Samuel Peter was never really in that fight but he was never really dominated either but in this fight I think Makhmadov will be all over Samuel Peter he's a pretty static target I think Makhmadov will be teeing off on him and I wouldn't actually be surprised if this ends in a retirement at some point. You may recall from that Huey Fury one, Samuel Peter was injured in that one. He went seven rounds with Huey Fury, but that injury on the replay, and even when it happened live, it did seem somewhat suspect. It did seem like he was starting to fade and looking potentially for a way out. And if he takes heavy punishment against Makhmadov, well, maybe that will happen again. Maybe we'll see some sort of injury or retirement on a stool. But I do expect Arslan Bek Makhmadov will get through this, get through it comfortably enough, either by a massively lopsided points decision if it went all 10 rounds, but I don't see that happening. Potentially a stoppage, maybe a retirement. We'll have to see what happens. But yeah, it's, I don't love the fight because I think uh, he needs a, a few more challenges than Samuel Peter can give him at this point in his career. But I can sort of see why they've made it because he needs some rounds. That's just yeah, a lot of the guys that they're um, matching him with can't stand up to the power. So hopefully Sam Samuel Peter can actually go some rounds with Makhmadov, four, five, six, seven rounds, because that will be invaluable experience for Aslan Bek Makhmadov, who is uh, fast becoming one of the um, hottest prospects in the heavyweight division. A lot of people starting to take note and starting to know the name of Aslan Bek Makhmadov. And 2020 would seem to be potentially a breakout year for the Russian who fights out of Canada. So this card is going to be in Montreal. And the other heavyweight who is on it is Canadian Simon King. So he is going to be facing, as I mentioned before, Sergei Lajkovic. So Keen entering this um, fight has a record of 17 and 1. And we'll get to that one loss because I sort of think that 2019 has been a bit of a bounce back year for him. But I'll get to that. So Lajkovic is his opponent. And yeah, I'm not really expecting much of Lajkovic because 43 years old now, this will be his first fight for roughly two and a half years, two years. And before that, he hadn't fought since 2014. And that was against Andy. Ruiz Jr. And he actually did take Ruiz Jr. the distance there, interestingly enough. 
But um, he's only had four fights in the past six years. And one of those was against Deontay Wilder back in 2013. You may recall that one. Lyakovich was left writhing on the canvas. And maybe we will see something again. At 43 years old, I don't really hold much hope for Lyakovich doing too much in this fight. Maybe he'll be able to take uh, Keane a few rounds. But Keane has heavy hands. And I expect him to get the win here, most probably by knockout. Probably in the first three or four rounds. So yeah, 43-year-old Lyakovich, I don't think he will offer much in the way of a challenge for Keane. And really, this year has been a bounce back year for Simon Keane. He was sort of tracking quite well in his prospect phase, you know, in 2018. He had some different step up fights. He fought Adam Braidwood. That was a Canadian, all a Canadian affair. He beat him, knocked him out. Then he meets Dylan Carmen. He was heavily favoured to beat Carmen, but then was upset. He was knocked out in the fourth round of that fight. Since then, he had a tune-up against Rogelio Omar Rossi, and that was an easy knockout win. And then he fought Carmen again. That was in June of this year. So it was the classic repeat or revenge sort of situation. And he got his revenge, knocking Dylan Carmen out. And after having put that wrong right, he will be looking to have a bigger and better year in 2020 because this year has been rebounding from that loss and rebuilding from it. And Lyakovich is another sort of confidence building type fight. And hopefully we can see Keane step up to some extent in 2020 because obviously after this fight, most likely he'll have a record of 18 and 1. And it's at that point that he needs to start taking a few tougher tests because uh, he's 30 years old now. Boxrec has him as number 29 in the world. I would like to see him fight someone around, you know, the top 20 to top 30. Someone who's roughly on the same level. And there's a number of guys that could sort of fit that bill that I'm sure you can imagine. But for this uh, fight, we'll just bring it back to December 7th. I expect him to get the win, look good, finish the year in style. And I expect Arslan Bek Makhmadov to do the same. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.